Hey. When uh, we were finishing our pool and patio area at the end of last year, uh, we ran out of time with our first guests arriving and had to postpone the project to, uh, to construct a nice kitchen area and an outdoor shower. So for the last nine months, uh, this area here has looked like this. Uh, a few months ago, when things slowed down a bit, we cleared the debris and came up with a plan. We started the initial plumbing works and finished the concrete patio base before adding a shower privacy wall and a counter with space for a sink. We needed a plan for the shower, the sink, and this uh, washing machine, which is just on the other side of the wall. The plan was to create a version of a French drain. The system is generally used to prevent water from rising to the surface and to help distribute that water away. Uh, retainer walls uh, have a version of this to relieve water pressure in the ground. So we wanted someone to be able to use this shower uh, without it flooding the ground below. And the plan was to use a French drain to lead the water away and down the hill into our backyard. I first dug a hole five feet by five feet wide and 16 inches deep with a small ditch away from that hole leading into the backyard. I put down about four inches of gravel. I purchased 24 feet of flex drain, four inch landscaping tubes from Amazon as I couldn't find them anywhere in town. Uh, the flex drain tubes work really well because they have holes in them to allow the water to seep in. So they're great for this uh, type of system. Uh, as the water flows into uh, the gravel and begins to rise towards the surface, the flex drain tubes absorb that rising water and carries the water away to prevent it rising to the surface. I had to break apart a little bit of the retainer wall in order to continue the, the slope of the drainage tubes into the backyard. After placing the flex tubes, I continued to fill the hole with rocks and gravel until the tubes were covered with about four inches of gravel on top. I bought six stones and five bags of decorative rock for a thousand pesos to cover the gravel. And the last month has been just getting everything cleaned up and looking how it looks now, which I think is pretty nice. I painted, uh, then we had a roof put in above the entire area. Our architect was nice enough to loan out a tile guy for the day. The plumber finished connecting the shower, the hose attachment, and the sink. And we ran the sink drainage around the shower area and down the hill. I did the same with the washing machine drainage. The electrician came out and added an outlet for the potential future placement of a refrigerator and perhaps a blender. And he also added lights above the sink and the shower. Ali painted again because I suck at painting and did a terrible job uh, when I did it. We decided to cover some of the external electrical and plumbing by having a carpenter put in a, a nice wood backdrop. And the final step was to add doors under the sink. The total cost of everything uh, includes the concrete prep work, materials and labor, which was about 13,000 pesos. The, uh, the roof that we put above, that was 10,000 pesos. The flex drain tubes um, that lead the water away and we had an adapter to attach them. That was about a thousand pesos. The gravel and the decorative rock, as mentioned before, was a thousand pesos. And uh, the sink shower and the plumbing parts were roughly 2,500 pesos plus another 1,800 pesos for the installation. The carpenter charged us 5,500 pesos and the doors under the sink cost 3,400 pesos. The electrical work and parts uh, was the last component and that was 1800 pesos so all in all we spent 40,000 pesos more or less which is about 2,000 US dollars to uh, to complete this area and uh, we're pretty happy with how it turned out all right thanks for watching take care